Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a video to give you little pointers on security if you are multiple users on a PC. So that happens very often. The family will have one computer or two computers but will share with family members or you might want to share with friends. But one of the biggest problems with sharing a PC is the risk that they might do something that will actually infect your PC or bring malware to your PC. And that depends on what they do. If they are, you know, regular folks that don't do much except checking their emails and stuff like that, there's no danger. But if they are the ones that will go to, you know, illegal movie websites or uh, download illegal software or, or illegal stuff on the internet, that puts you at very high risk. Of course, the first thing you should tell anybody that uses the PC that it's not for that and you need to be careful. But there's a way to actually increase the security when you actually share your PC. Don't let them use your main account. What you should do is go into your settings. Here, you'll go into accounts and in accounts, you will go into um, family and other users and add someone to the PC. If they have a Microsoft account, you can actually um, do that. If they don't, you can actually choose um, other users. And in adding someone to your PC with other users, you can click, I don't have this person's sign in info. And in here, you can say, add a user without a Microsoft account, which means that you won't have to you know, enter any emails or any information here. When that user is created, one of the things that you will happen is you'll see the name of that user. Click on it and make sure that when you click change account type that it says it's a standard user. Two types of users can happen on a PC, standard or administrative. Standard users have kind of a lockdown on Windows. When they try to install software, they'll need your permission. When they do something, it's always your permission. Nothing can install without having your permission. So that's why this keeps you safe, because you have a lot more control of what's happening, what they're doing. And it actually works also against malware that would like to install. If malware would try to install here in a standard user, it would actually uh, pop up that you need to have you know the approval of the administration so this is a great way to make sure that you stay safe is to make sure they have and they're all standard users don't give administrative privileges to other users on your PC remember it's your PC you know it's like lending a car it's kind of a complex thing it's your PC it's your rules and uh, make sure that everybody is a standard user when they use their side of the PC at login. It's the best way to stay safe um, because that's the big problem. And I've seen that over years, you know, um, at some point, um, family, for example, families where uh, the kids, you know, kids, they, the teenagers, they download everything they see and they think it's okay. And there's that standard um, way of thinking also. Very often I hear uh, kids that will say, uh, well, you know, my friends all downloaded this and they didn't have viruses. Problem is, yeah, you don't know. They're not going to tell you they got a virus. They'll just, you know, say that they did it and that's it. So um, by having a standard account, you know, it's safe, um, you know, and don't give in to change that if somebody downloads stuff and say, well, you know, I'm downloading things and I have to, you know, ask your permission all the time. Well, so be it. Buy your own PC if that's not, that, that, that annoys you. That's all. So standard accounts are, are the best to keep your computer safe when there's multiple users. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.